Zarf's dead. Hello, this is Ivan the Dictator. For those of you seeing the video, which I'm making a tutorial on how to submit releases to Discogs, remember to comment, subscribe, and like to my channel, and the Discogs website is on the description. For those of you that came to this video, I'm not just talking about music. I'm here to talk about anything you like. And my first video on the blog is on an annotation or on the description below. Of course, I would like to show you, share to you what I like and you international people like, including Russians and Americans. It's for every international people I love to hear. So I love every international people and I, when I grow up, I'll s hire international people to play in my movies. But first of all, I would like to go into on a computer mode to show you the tutorial. So, on a count of three, it'll start right now. In Russian. Один, два, три. Alright, so here we are in Discogs. Discogs is a database which holds every music of rare releases at all. So here we are with it. I'm going to click on rock, electronic, pop, jazz or other genres like classical music, reggae, and Latin, just to give you an example. Just let me click on it. So here we, this is, this is, uh, this is an example of a music, it is Kultur Gut Volume 1, it's a German word and it's basic, and uh, it's apparently a German file, it's by Stresschritt, which is, uh, I don't know what this is. I'm just showing you as an example. This is electronic and rock, and it was like EBM and punk rock. See that? Well, it doesn't. Well, it. Yeah. It's a very rare release. And it doesn't hold anything like Ariana Grande, Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, Usher, and Kanye West only. It holds everything. For example,. Mad Jack, Radio Off. It's like a electronic deep house techno and acid label. It holds everything that it, including rarest music ever to find on the website. So if you want to find rare music, just go to Discogs and it will show you a database. See that? Okay. So. Just let me. There are some other rare music ever, including some common ones. It can hold Russian, Japanese, Korean, and and Arabic music, and every any foreign language music ever to find on the website. Not only that, too. Just let me close everything out. So I'll teach you how to register to Discogs. For registering your website, you need to click on the register. If you're new to the website, you can choose a username, any username you want, as long as it's appropriate to Discogs. Your email address. Then your password. Then confirm your password. Once you're done with that, you accept the term of service and a privacy policy. That, that part is purely optional. You don't have to answer that. But you must answer that you are not a robot. That you are not a robot. See that? Okay. 
once you say guy just concurrent once you're registered or, or you are already a ranger just log in i already have the password set up automatically so i don't know how to do that but i'm not going to show you the password because it'll be messed up see what i mean all right so once you've logged in you can search for any music you want to. You can add modules or stuff like that. But uh, today I'm going to teach you how to submit a release. Just let me go to beatport.com and junodownload.com. Junodownload.com. Okay, so I'm going to click on Marophobia because they have the recent releases that they didn't have yet. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but there's no, s 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's no 7 right here. So I'm thinking I'm going to add it is because, I'm going to add it because there's a missing release on this label and I want it added to the database. So let me search in Marophobia. And releases. Marophobia releases. Marophobia. So we're going to look for the number 7. Intra and Spherix Proflow. Protoflow. I'm going to save the image. It's because sometimes it may give you, ask you to add an artwork to do it if it's required. If you don't have an artwork and they show the artwork, you don't have to add it, but you do not want to add a generic artwork. So I'll just save it for now to upload it for later. Sounds good. All right, so now it's just saved and they don't have it yet. So I'm going to click on add release. I'm going to click on add release. Well, for that now, I'm just going to get, for now, I'm just going to protoflow and it shows you that this text right here, this is Intra and Spherix. This is a UK to you British producers. And I know that there is going to be something that you see the text right here that is a description but you don't but do not add it because it will be like a marketing text and they don't want it. It's supposed to be neutral, alright? So this list here is a custom made list. I made it just because they are not, they need additional releases, but you can add releases of anything you want. So we're going to add a release right now. It's waiting for load. All right, so this is a syntax to add something. And you can add a good title, artist, or other workers that have made that song. So this is what a syntax looked like. 
I'm just going to, there's a title, the star is a required thing that you must add it to submit that release. Protoflow. So, Protoflow, oh sorry I'm a wrong artist, no Protoflow is not an artist. It is a, a title. If you're not sure, just use Command C on V and Control V if you're using a PC. I'm using a Mac, so Command C and V. So I added a title. And if you're not really sure what to type, just use cop just copy and paste the text. This is a catalog number. It's it's a required thing, and I'll tell you that later. So. I'm going to add the date. If there's no date on the release, that's fine too, and you don't have to add it. But the country is complicated. A country is where it markets from. Basically, it can be the country of a label, or but it, but for now, this date is. If I add like this date for man January thirty first, nineteen ninety nine. And it's not, it's an invalid release date format. So I'll copy and paste like that format. And it will work like this. Okay. So the country is where it markets from. Stamp records, it doesn't need to add a country because it says here that it markets everywhere. But I think I'm going to market it. This country label is. Denmark is the market from yeah so I'm going down to Denmark because this really says a country Denmark just add a title protoflow Put it right here. The time or duration is is necess can be necessary if it has it, but it doesn't need to be necessary when it doesn't mention it. Okay. All right. You can click like hip hop, jazz, rock, or pop, or reggae, Latin, classic, or anything like that. It can style you want, you don't have to dial, but you have to choose the style of the electronic genre. Because if I submit it now, and it will say right here, that the electronic genre requires a style. So I know this uh, is a trans label, and... I'm going to play it right now. This is a this says trance, so it's a good thing. You can ha you have to submit your notes right here because if if you do, they need to do it. So, I'm going to type in The notes is purely up. Well, well, so I'm going to type in new release on Marophobia. You when you when you're submitting a digital release, it's necessary to add the websites to it like Beatport and Juno download. So, what if we're good to go? No, we're not good to go because we need to select a format. This is a digital file. This is going to be MP3. If you want to add single, just be careful. Singles is a source that is needed. So, free text is optional. You don't have to add it. But if there's an EP tag, you have to add EP. If there's no source for a single, then don't then just leave it alone. All right. 
So are we good to go? Almost. It says missing catalog number because catalog number is a code that they added. That they can, it's necessary to add a code. If there's no code, just click, just type in none. I'm not going to type in like that because I'm just telling that as an example. So we're good to go now. But that one is an artwork and I'm going to add it. So, proto flow. It might be in a the artworks folder, but I because I keep things organized by adding an artwork folder and using the label of it. You can do that too if if it sometimes it's recommended if it's good for you. And it's recommended for you. Arophobia. Arophobia. There it is. Oh, I found it. I know because I noticed the color. I think I typed it wrong. So I'll just rename it Protoflow. All right. And just wait for it to load. There we are. So just preview it if you like it, if you want. If you want to double check it, just double check the artist. This is a British trans label, trans DJ project. But the one thing is for sure is do not add that text. They'll take it as a marketing strategy and they don't want it. You can add B BPM or beats per minute or key if you like, but do not add it. Or you can add a copyright notice or something like that. But chances are, do not add this text right there. Okay. I'm just trying to double check to make sure if it's correct. Indra and spherics. Yeah, that's correct. Trans DJ duo from the United Kingdom. All right, so we're going to hit. Once you've done that, and you feel and you feel like everything is ready, then click on submit. Now, once everything is ready, if you feel like if it's ready, and if you feel like it's double checked, then click on submit. There we are. It's submitted. So now we're going to Marophobia. And look at that. There's a 7. So what do you think about this? And it's everything is done. So what do you think about this tutorial? Please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll, and I'll leave everything tutorial. Every tutorial on the description below. Thanks again. See you next time.